What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk about Bungie Stream which is coming later. The first of three on the Curse of All Souls DLC expansion. But before we go any further people, if you want to win some epic loot, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server linked within the video description. Okay so yesterday we got a short teaser trailer for the Curse of All Souls DLC. Basically announcing the time the stream starts today. Yeah, check it out. There's been a development on Mercury. And you think Osiris might be involved? I predicted many things, but I never saw you. So the stream starts at 11am PST time, which for us UK folks is 7pm. That starts later today. It's the first of three streams and this one will concentrate on the new stories to tell. We will learn about new places we can go, characters we will meet and new enemies we will fight. So I'm guessing within the stream we might see a story mission into the Curse of Osiris. One story mission on Mercury will basically sum up what's coming in this case. But I truly hope we do get to see more. Now a simple question for you guys, what do you want to see from the Curse of Osiris expansion? What changes do you want to see added? To keep things short, I want changes to end game loot and the grind to obtain it. I want longevity, I want reason to play and keep on playing. Bungie know what we mean when we state this as changes like what we want for the second game were added to the first game. We ain't asking too much people are we? What we want changed are minimal right? I think they are anyway. My problem is I don't know if Bungie will implement the changes we want. As much as I hope they do, I just don't see it happening. I will happily though eat my words if these changes do come through. We need changes for the game. So what else do you expect they will reveal within this first stream? Now we know they spoke of a new raid activity and I've covered this in many videos in the past. The fact they state a new raid activity and not a fully new raid when speaking about it kind of worries me as to what they have planned. It could seriously go south if what they've added are just a few minor changes to the Leviathan like many people are thinking. I just hope whatever they do for us, it's worth the price we have paid for this DLC. I once thought maybe a remastered Vogue would be coming back due to the ties with Osiris and the Vault of Glass, which I'd love to see as it was the best raid ever, but again, I can just not see it happening. I feel what Bungie has given us within Destiny 2 is kind of lazy in terms of how Destiny 1 finished. In saying all that though about them not delivering the game we wanted and basically being lazy, I know for a fact Bungie see the backlash from us. I know deep down, they know major changes are needed going forward for this game to be successful. There is no doubt about it, and hopefully some of the changes are incorporated with the Curse of Osiris DLC, and hopefully they are announced later. We need reassurance, there's no doubt about it. So this teaser trailer, what new could we take from it? To be honest, not much at all. A couple of new weapons are seen, some pretty armour, but not much else. A great tease to hopefully what will be a great review. We know of the new area which will be Mercury, how big this place will be though is yet to be seen, the lighthouse will be a new social space and Brother Vance will be a new vendor. But they are keeping hush on this DLC though which I do kind of appreciate, not many leaks have come whatsoever. So later today we will find out all about it, we will get the first of three streams with the Curse of Osiris. We get to see and witness whether or not this DLC is likely to save this game. I've said this a few times, Bungie have a massive loyal fan base who want to see this game do great and no doubt will give them a million chances to get it right. But they themselves, meaning Bungie, shouldn't be really taking advantage of them, me included. Give us what's needed and give it us now. A question I have for you all, do you think it's too little too late for Destiny 2? I am seeing many many comments saying it is. Are people finally moving on? Is this DLC the last chance you are giving them? Let me know down below. So the first stream starts today at 11am PST, that's 7am UK time for us UK folks. 
The second stream is November 21st, that's next Tuesday at the same time. This will concentrate on the new ways we can play the game. And the third stream will be November 29th on a Wednesday. This will showcase the new loot we can earn. Good times ahead, well hopefully. To end the video, let's look at Osiris. Definitely needs to keep his helmet on for sure. Damn, this dude is bald as f On that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully we get rewarded with the stream later in seeing stuff we want to see added to the game. But I will cover that all later anyway, so stay tuned. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.